I remember being in my grandma's kitchen, tugging at her apron, asking for just a little taste of whatever she was cooking. Granny, may I lick the spoon? Is the cake done yet? Now it's my kitchen, my children and grandchildren, and even my husband tugging at my apron for just a little taste of whatever I'm cooking. Hello, I'm Coco. Now come on into my kitchen where every batch is made from scratch. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Welcome to Cooking with Coco where every batch is made from scratch. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I pray that everybody had a fantastic week. Nice, safe and Mary. I'd like to open up with a word of prayer. Dear God, we come thanking you for another day, God. Lord, we thank you so much for bringing us into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today is Friday, God. Thank you so much for your protection, God. Thank you for your guidance, God. Thank you, Lord, for your love, God. And Lord, we pray and ask that the meal that we are getting ready to prepare, God, that it would be a nourishment for our bodies, God. Lord, we pray for our viewers, God, and we ask you to bless them, God, in a special way. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's get started. I am so glad to, that you guys are joining me this evening. I've had a fantastic week, a very relaxing Friday, and so I pray the same for you. Tonight, we will be cooking a spicy cabbage roll. Mmm, if you ever. Easy breezy corn casserole. Homemade buttermilk cornbread. Oh my God, this is one of my mom's special um, cornbread. She actually taught me how to fix some of the best skillet, hot water, homemade cornbread you ever put in your mouth. So thank you, Mom, for that. <laughs> We're also having grilled flavored seasoned squash zucchini, tomatoes, mushroom shish kebabs. And I'm gonna do them right here in on my in-house grill. You talking about delicious. And for dessert, we're having an angel food cake with a delicious pineapple, vanilla frosting topped with the best, the sweetest strawberries you ever want to taste. And guess what? We're actually, I took time and I fixed two of those, I baked Two of those cakes, let me reframe that because my auntie will get me for fixing uh, a cake instead of baking a cake. So we baked two angel food cakes and we, uh, I, I made some delicious frosting, pineapples, vanilla, vanilla pudding, oh, with pineapples and all that good juice and some sweet strawberries. So we're going to get started, guys. How are you? I want you guys to join me. I want you to chit chat with me. Let's communicate, let's talk, let's see what everybody's been up to. We are also gonna give some prizes away. We're gonna have um, a Cooking with Cocoa coffee mug. It looks like this, guys. You can drink wherever you like, at the office, at home, in your privacy. We're also gonna give away Another Cooking with Coco apron. We had two winners last week. And so Miss Maude Rogers from Hensley, Arkansas, she won the apron. I hope you received it, Miss Rogers. And also my auntie, uh, Poplar Grove, Arkansas. I hope you received your mug and you're having a great time with it. And uh, I spoke with a friend of mine, went to high school with her, Rochelle McFerguson. Did not know. This is the same young lady that we went to party meeting together, and I was mad at her. I said, why did you tell me who you were? So we, we kind of laughed about that. But at any rate, she's a good friend, went to school together. She was chilly, and I was drill team. So I hope she's tuning in tonight. She said her family enjoyed those sand tot cookies. And so I'm so honored that you guys, uh, you and your family enjoyed those. So congratulations to the winners. We have more winners for tonight. We're going to get started on this amazing cabbage roll. I tell you, if you've never had this, if you like cabbage, if you like meatloaf, it's kind of a combination of the two. So what um, this recipe asks for, it asks for one pound of ground beef, 
and sweet Italian sausage. So what I've done, I did half and half. So that's what I have here in my bowl. I have half of sweet Italian sausage, okay? And I have uh, half ground beef. You can use lean beef if you prefer, uh, you, you can use that as well. And so what this recipe asks for, of course the cabbage, it asks for a fourth a cup of cooked rice. Now, I've seen recipes, guys, where they put the uncooked rice. So what I did, I did not cook it to where it was just mushy. So we're going to put one cup of rice in this. But again, you can use the uncooked uh, long grain, grain rice. I love the flavor that the jasmine rice has. So this, what, this is what I've um, cooked tonight. So it's jasmine rice. And uh, it asks for a fourth of a cup. It asks for a fourth a cup of breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs or panko breadcrumbs. This is what I had at the house, so that's what I'm using. It also asks for two tablespoons of uh, parsley. So I'm gonna eyeball that, okay? It asks also for salt and pepper and organza seasoning, so I have that already pre-measured. This also asks for a half a cup of milk. So I need someone to hand me some milk. I forgot to take that out. And then um, you mix all of this. Oh, and one egg. It asks for, I'm sorry, one egg and a fourth a cup of milk. Okay. So I'm going to eyeball this. Pretty good at it. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> and then it asks for one egg. So we're going to crack this and put this in there as well, okay? There. And then you take your spoon, or my hands are nice and clean. I really like to get in nitty gritty and just mix all of this great stuff up, okay? <laughs> so, now in the meanwhile, I have a whole cabbage head that I have put in a big pot of water and it is steaming it for about five to 10 minutes and it's just loosening the cabbage leaves. That's what I'm going to use to, to wrap the, the meat, okay? It also asks for a half a cup of onions and I used white onion. You just mix all that goodness in there like so. Also, guys, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing dish. I just had a taste for some homemade buttermilk cornbread. I don't know if that really goes with this, but I tell you, that's what I had a taste for. Okay, I want to add a little garlic salt to it as well. And guys, these are really, they're easy. They're easy breezy. They, you can freeze these as well and eat them at a later time, okay? So, that's all mixed up. So what I'm gonna do is take my cabbage, which is already been boiling for about 10 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna show you something looks like. Can you guys, can they see this? Do I need to move it over some? And slide this like that. Now this is what the cabbage looks like. It's nice and I can control it, okay? So what you want to do is you want to take that little tough, I call it, what, what is that the, what is that called? This little tough skin part. You want to take that off. And so what you do is just take your knife and just kind of cut that a loop, okay? Like so. Now these will easily just come apart like so. You see how easy that is coming a loose? Really easy, so you can really work with it, okay? okay. 
My auntie is watching. Linda Paxton is watching. Regina Armstead is watching. Reverend Smith is watching. Erica Denise is watching. And Carol Stubbs is watching. Thank you all. I appreciate it. I hope you all had a great week. And I hope this is a meal that you would love to try. I tell you, really, really easy, guys. I believe your family would really like this. Now, I'm just going to show you just nice, simple way to, to do, did I cut that one off? Yes, I did. Okay. So you turn it like so, okay? And you take about a, about two tablespoons. If you want a little bit more, a little meatier, you can do that. And it's kind of like, you remember I did the show with the egg rolls? You kind of similar do it like that. You stuff it and then you just roll like so. See how easy that was? And then when you loosen that tough skin that's on, in the middle, it really helps it to um, roll better. So you stuff it, you fold in, and you roll like so. Okay. And again, like I said, if you uh, because like a this medium to large. Um, cabbage head, it will roll probably about 16, and I'm not going to do that tonight. I'm not going to roll that many. Uh, I've already pre-did um, some cabbage rolls, so they're in the oven cooking. And what you do, you take some tomato sauce, and you put it in the casserole dish bottom. Can, can they see this? Okay like so because you want a little tomato sauce on the bottom you take those cabbage rolls and you just place them um, seam down like so and i tell you really easy breezy something you and your family will really like and the more you season it the better okay um we're gonna do while i'm talking and cooking <laughs> one of our prizes for tonight. And we need to know, let's see here. Oh, okay, the first person to comment wins a cup. And it looks like Cassie Johnson has won the coffee mug. Congratulations. I will get that to you. I'll contact you through message and I will get your numbers and we will get that to you, okay? Okay. Also, let's see here. The first person to name what Coco cooked two weeks ago. Oh my goodness, I don't even know what I cooked two weeks ago. So hey, um, I have I have my uh <laughs> my directors here uh, and they are telling me the questions to ask you. So name if you can name the first person to name what Coco cooked two weeks ago. They have the answer, and I'll tell you if you're right or wrong, okay? So, and that person will win an apron, okay? So we're waiting on that. Y'all put your thinking caps on. Oh, you may have to go and search the show, huh? <laughs> so this tells me if you're watching or not, but that person will win an apron. And it's my pleasure, it's my pleasure to give these gifts, and I appreciate you guys so much for watching okay and i pray that everybody's been saved and all has gone well i'm gonna set this to the side okay now guys there is a there's a sauce that goes with these okay and so what the sauce is now and I'm just lack of time I'm not going to wrap all of these together but I just wanted you to see this and then the sauce that you would put on top of this is okay the sauce asks for okay it asks for two tablespoons Of butter. Okay, now this is the sauce that's going to go on top of the cabbage rolls. 
two tablespoons of butter. It asks for a half a cup of chopped onions. It asks for two garlic cloves minced. Okay. It asks for two tablespoons, I've already got it measured, of tomato sauce. You can use tomato paste as well. Okay. And then it asks for a tape um, one tablespoon of brown sugar. Okay. It asks for now. What I'm going to do is turn around to the stove and turn this on. What that has to do is brown very well. You know, just kind of marinate the vegetables. And while that's doing that, I'm going to now. Earlier today, I cut up zucchini, squash, mushrooms, um, cherry tomatoes, and I. What I did here is I boiled them down with olive oil, salt, pepper, a little garlic salt. And so now they're ready to be put on the grill. And so I have my panini machine that's a grill and then my in-house grill here, okay? So again, all of this has been seasoned. And so what I'm gonna do is just stick to the side and place these on the grill. Okay, like so. I hear them sizzling. And you know, grilled vegetables do not take a long time. So three or four minutes on each side and they'll be ready. If you like zucchini and squash, tomatoes, Oh, my mushrooms, you will absolutely love, love this dish. Absolutely love these vegetables. And they're pretty too. And this just tastes really, really good with this cabbage roll, okay? So we have those there.
So I'm just melting. Now this is for the corn casserole. You melt the cream cheese and the butter, like so, okay? Now, you can use fresh whole kernel corn, fro you know, fresh, frozen, or you can use from the can. Okay? So this is melting real nicely. And so then you take four cans of whole kernel corn. And you put this over in this baby. Oh my goodness. Guys, you're talking about delicious. I promise you, you will love this. And now you just kind of stir all that goodness, like so. Mix all of that together. Butter, Philadelphia cream cheese. And I gotta thank my girlfriend for this recipe. Terry White is the one who introduced this to me. Oh, years ago, it's probably, I know it's 10 years ago at least. But I tell you, we used to get together, um, Terry and my girlfriend Carol, we used to get together at each other's houses and we would have um, dinner. And whomever house, whoever was hosting it, they fixed the dinner. And so she had this one night, and I tell you, it was delicious. You remember that, Carol? <laughs> you remember that, Terry? And then you take cayenne pepper. Now, you know cayenne pepper is hot, so you don't want it too hot. So I did what? A couple little sprinkles, guys. And you stir that real nice, like so. Now, this is going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes. This is absolutely delicious with the cabbage rolls, the shabobs, vegetable shabobs, okay? Now I got, I think I got this nice and creamy. And I'm going to stick it in the oven, 350 degrees. Just gonna clean this up a bit. And then I'm gonna put it in the top of the oven, okay? It's already preheated, 350 degrees, okay? All right, now, want to show you this. Now we want to get started with this amazing cornbread. <laughs> now my mom again, she's the one who taught me how to fix. She doesn't teach me how to fix because she really doesn't care to cook. <laughs> but when we're having cornbread, she is the one that makes the cornbread for us. Okay. So what I have here is a cast iron skillet that was passed down to me by my grandmother. So I still have her, her skillet. I have three tablespoons of oil, and I'm using vegetable oil. So I have it here. I'm turning it up to heat my, heat it up. I have two cups of corn meal mix, okay? I take one, tablespoon or two of sugar. Now, if you like your sweet, then you add a little bit more. <laughs> I don't, I'm good. And then you take some salt, about a teaspoon, okay? Now, this is the buttermilk that I like. I like the Highland brand, real old-fashioned Bulgarian style buttermilk. This is the one that I like, okay? If you have a preference, then you please use the one that you like. Okay? All right. All right. Oh. Antoinette Withers is watching. Thank you. Joyce Scott is watching. Thank you. DeAndrea Dr. Carrington is watching. Hello. Congratulations. And my mom is watching. Thank you, guys. I hope you've had a great week. And uh, Dr. Carrington, you have had a birthday. Graduation, you are doing your thing. We are extremely proud of you. So, now you want to mix all of that in. So, again, I'll repeat this. For the homemade buttermilk cornbread, you need two cups of cornmeal mix. You need a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and 
Then you take your buttermilk while your oil is getting hot. This is going to be moist, has a beautiful color to it. And you just stir this really nice. Okay, Tiff, Tiff Cooley loves and misses you. Thank you, Sister Tiff, I appreciate it. We miss you guys as well at the second. That is, that's our home church. If Pastor Kelly and Sister Kelly are watching, please. And guys, I almost forgot something. My mom is here, thank God. Guys, you know you need eggs for bacon. She's paying attention, at least I know she's doing that. <laughs> And actually, I like to put three eggs in mine. So give me one more egg. And to me, that just adds more um, moisture. This is just me thinking that I'm not sure. <laughs> but it just adds um, extra moisture to me. It makes the, makes the um, cornbread rise really, really nice. Bertha Jones is watching. Hey, Bertha. Thank you for watching. You had a birthday, too. So happy birthday, girl. You don't look 60 anything. You are amazing. Got to get that secret. My goddaughter, Brandy, is watching. Hi, Brandy. How are you and the girls? They made a couple of little recipes from the cookbook the other night and shared it with me, and they looked amazing. She's going to have some fantastic cooks in her house. After a while, she's not going to have to cook. <laughs> I'm going to flip the, uh, oh, yeah. Guys, I want you to kind of, well, if you, Let's see. This is looking good. I'm just flipping them a little bit. They have the little grill marks on them. And then over here, my panini maker is making some as well. Okay, I want you to see this. See how this is looking? I want you to see the consistency of it, guys. All is getting hot over here. Okay. Can you see that? All that goodness. Let me show you the consistency. You see that? And then I'm going to put this in a hot skillet. But what I will do, the reason I put three tablespoons of oil in the skillet is because I'm going to put uh, at least a tablespoon in the mixture, okay? So, see that? Okay, LeBaron is watching. He said, You want something? Come on, come on over now. <laughs> Nikki Jackson is watching, and Shirley Morris is watching. And I want, hello, guys, thank you so much for joining Cooking with Coco. And uh, I want to give a shout out to Greater Center Star, uh, their Sunday school class, the Johnny Banks class. They watch Coco every week. I appreciate their support. My mom and Miss Shirley Williams teaches that Sunday school class at the Greater Center Star Baptist Church. So they're always tuning in and giving me encouragement. And I thank you guys so very much. Thank you. So I'm hoping you guys will keep watching so that you become a winner. Queenie Griffin said, okay, let's see what she said. Said, use the eggshells, <laughs> okay, in the what? The flower bed in the garden, you know what? Sister Griffin, that's funny that you said that because my husband just tilled his ground, his, his garden and planted uh, for the season and he told me that very thing. He said, coffee grains, egg, um, shells so i never knew that that's that's good information so now what i'm going to do is put a couple of tablespoons of oil okay like so and then you want to mix that really well and that was a couple of tablespoons of, and I'm using vegetable oil, guys. Okay? Mix that really well. My skillet is nice and hot. Uh-oh, I did 
something over there? Yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> okay. Now, can you guys see that? And now you'll hear a little sizzle. Nice and hot. You guys, let me tell you. When this comes out the oven, I'm going to flip it. It's going to be nice, crispy, and brown. And you can add butter. You can add honey. All of that good stuff. So I'm going to put this in the oven. Now, another thing, guys, that you can, um, Mary Rideout, uh, Laura Walker is watching. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. This is, I want to show you guys something earlier today. I fixed two of some amazing angel food cakes. And the winner will get this, and I will get the contact information, and you will have your very own angel food cake with this delicious banana pineapple. Oh! Top with strawberries, and I didn't put your strawberries on the winner's cake because I wanted it to be nice and fresh when I deliver. Um, so, and if you want a whole, I'll, you just let me know if you want me to chop them, and I can do that as well. But this cake, guys, will knock your socks off. It's light, it's fluffy, it has, it's not too sweet. Delicious strawberries mixed with those pineapples. You will love this. Another easy breezy one, okay? Now. here. My veggies are doing well. Yes, 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 yes. Now you remember I was um, demonstrating the sauce for the for the cabbage. Okay? And so this is what the sauce looks like. We got a camera set. So we have our brown sugar, our Worcestershire sauce, we have our garlic, we have our crushed tomatoes. Um, okay, this is what this looks like. And so what you do is, once you get all of your cabbage rolled, show you something. And I'll finish doing this um, later on. Now these, these are the ones that I will put in the freezer and we can eat these anytime. But let me give you a little trick. Um, and what you do is you just take the sauce and you spread them like so, okay? Like, like that. Uh-oh, let me do this. Okay? Now, because I will put these in the freezer and we'll eat these at a later time, but you will see a finishing dish tonight. What I do recommend just out of experience of cooking, you take your skillet and you put a little butter in your skillet and you put the already cooked rolls in a skillet with some little butter and you just kind of brown brown those and they are absolutely delicious. Now that's after you cook them now. That's after you cook them. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to just kind of Okay. These are what the shabobs are looking like, guys. Again, olive oil, salt and pepper and garlic. And whatever vegetables you like. If you, I didn't put onions, but if you want onions or any other vegetables that you like, then please feel free to do that.
going to take them out of the oven. This is the cooked um, cabbage rolls. You see how amazing that looks? And again, if you like cheese, if you like Parmesan, um, you can put that on there as well. Just again, make it your own. But this is amazing, guys. It's almost kind of like a stew to me, but it has the sweet sausage and it has the ground beef um, in, in, in the rolls. But then again, you know, we added parsley, we added onions and fresh garlic and salt and pepper. And I tell you, this is going to be amazing. Okay, so we're gonna take, we're gonna take this out. It's ready, actually. So I'm really trying to wait. I, I wanna wait on the cornbread to come out. And then the corn casserole has been in here. How long has the corn casserole been? Just a few. Can you see it, honey? Okay. And this is nice and creamy. Has a little kick to it because of the cayenne pepper. And this is delicious, guys. Okay. So the cornbread is doing what it's doing. I want you to see that. You guys, hold, hang on in there with me, okay? We're almost there. Of over here. Oh, yes, that looks amazing. Now, come on, guys, easy breezy for this one. Who can't do this? Cut up some vegetables, put it on a um, shabab stick, and then let me give you a, a, a hint on how when you're doing the wooden shabobs, you always want to soak those shabab uh, sticks for at least 15 minutes. Soak them really good, and I usually put them in the sink in some warm water, okay? Okay, we still don't have a winner uh, for what country the cabbage kebabs originated from. So the first person to tell me what religion made them popular wins the cake. Come on, guys, I can't eat two cakes. <laughs> I cannot eat two cakes. So come on now. Okay, well, I can't. I, I was going to give you a hint, but if I give you a hint, then it's over. <laughs> But I do want a winner, so come on, guys. Come on, give me, give, give me the answer. I want to give this cake away. All right. And guys, I still, I want to um, just thank all of our frontline workers, uh, during this difficult time with this coronavirus, the ones that have worked have not stopped. I tell you, um, so I thank you. We thank you um, for all that you do, all that you have done. You know, everybody that's in the medical field, the grocery store people. Oh, come on now. The, 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 the shelves are stopped, and I tell you, they're working 24-7 because I'm telling you, we have really not gone without it. So we're just grateful. We're great, grateful to God for just protecting us. And guys, we pray for you. We pray for the churches. Um, and we just thank God for everything that he's doing. Deborah Hurd said, looks amazing. Thank you, dear. I appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Tiff said her mouth is watering. Girl, you need to try this one, I tell you. Easy breezy. Get little man in the uh, kitchen with you. Hey, Val, she's watching. Thank you. I sent you that number, too, so I hope you um, made contact uh, in regards to what we talked about. And Latrice Landers is, is watching. Thank you. I appreciate it. You can try this one. This is an easy breezy one. Come on now. Y'all can do it. I'm going to twist up my kebabs just a little bit more, guys. And again, if you forgot what you, hey, any vegetable that you want, any vegetable that you want for your kebab, shabobs, um, you put them on that stick and you just grill them up. A lot of times people uh, grill them on um, their grill on the outside, but with the, you can't, I don't think you can use the wooden ones on the outside grill, I'm not sure. Okay, I was told that you can, as long as you soak them. Okay, so we're good. Nikki Jackson won the cake. What'd you say? All right, congratulations. Okay, she said, okay, the cabbage rolls are associated with what? I learned that today, actually. Polish, okay, yes, and uh, 
Polish religion? You... Okay, it's a Jewish dish. Yes, you are correct. You are correct, Nikki Jackson. Congratulations. I have a delicious <laughs> uh, angel food cake to deliver to you. So I'm going to connect with you through Messenger, and uh, we will deliver that to you tomorrow. One question before we log off as well. I want to know, do you want str uh, fresh strawberries um, just whole, or would you like me to slice them and put them on top? However, and then you may not be a strawberry person, so let me know. I want you to enjoy this cake to its fullest, so let me know how you want it, okay? I'm going to uh, go over to my oven, and I'm going to take out my cabbage. Woo! Y'all, come on now! <laughs> Y'all better do it! You better do it because you can do it. Come on now. Look at here. That is the amazing cabbage roll. I tell you, it's Italian sausage, ground beef. We have fresh garlic. You have parsley. You have, um, come on now, Sonda. What else we got in here? <laughs> Guys, cabbage. Oh, my goodness. So that's ready. Is the ooh, a little hot. <laughs> this is my corn casserole here. Can the camera see that? Let's see here if I put it like that. No, okay, okay. So we can't do it that way. But can you guys see this? Woo, we yes, looks amazing. Okay, and then we have, of course, our kebabs. Let me take those off. Congratulations to all of the winners. You guys are amazing. You make my show what it is, and I thank you so very much. Those are the cloths. Look how amazing. Now, we do have our cornbread that we're waiting on. I tell you, what time did I put it in? Do you guys know? 7.30. Okay. If we wait another five minutes, it will be ready, and I want you to see it. So, you guys, come on, let's talk. Let's talk about something. <laughs> Anything. Come on, let's talk. Oh, I forgot. To, oh, my cousin Diane Gray is watching. Looks delicious. Thank you, Mary Rado. She's watching. Thank you. What are you guys eating tonight? Nobody, okay, Sharon Banks, my cousin is watching. Guys, I have a lot of family that are so supportive of Cooking with Coco, and I thank you so very much. Thank you. Let's see here. Plate up some of this goodness. Nobody's telling me what y'all cooking. Okay, Rochelle asked, what she asked? Let's see here. I have a whiteboard here, guys. That's how I know who's saying what. And I have just great producers and directors for this show every Friday night. And I thank them so much. I could not. It would be impossible for me to cook and do all of this. And I want to give a shout out to my husband. He is just on it. He really supports me in all of my endeavors, and I thank him so much. I have a team that is just on time and helping me and asking me what I want, what I need, and I appreciate him so, so much. Okay, so Rochelle asked about the vegetable, wait a minute, the vegetarian dishes. Do you have any? 
I tell you what, I'm sure I got some up here. <laughs> I will start to share some of them. I'm actually, Rochelle, I'm working on my keto cookbook. I have learned so much about this keto stuff that I did not even know. And so um, vegetarian keto is similar kind of sorta. Of. So we got some stuff coming, okay? We have some stuff coming. Um, Rochelle says she cooked uh, stir-fried veggies and egg roll. Oh, I bet that was good. Yes, did you see my show when I did the egg rolls? Okay. And guys, we're, we're uh, I, again, I have help every Friday night. And so questions have, have been raised. Um, what, are we, what are you guys, as my viewers, what do you think about me getting some of the um, pastors, local pastors in the city, coming to Cooking with Coco and showing us kind of what they got? You know, you hear a lot of preacher pastors saying, hey, I can cook, I can cook. So we're kind of thinking about that. We're, we're pondering on a lot of ideas, different things that we think that you guys may want. So some of the past, Pastor Kelly, yes. Uh, Pastor Eric Alexander, I hear he can cook chili. Uh, and he's, he's the bomb at it. So we, we, we're, we're, we're getting things together. Uh, Pastor Minix, he said he can cook. So we're, we're, we're thinking about getting some of the pastors on the show and just making it just a fun, uh, kind of competitive because we're going to have some tasters here and we're going to see who, who can really do what they say they can do. <laughs> so, hey, keep your phones on. Uh, pay attention to what's going on with Cooking with Coco. We got some great things in store for you, okay? Uh, Tracy, she fixed a chef salad. Oh, I bet that was refreshing, uh, Tracy. And Sharon fixed veg vegetable soup with Mexican corn. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, my mom actually fixed the Mexican cornbread too. I bet they put all the, the corn and the beef and the jalapenos and cheese. That's a good one. Tim A. Sonny. Ha, ha, ha. It's kind of funny. Whatever you want. This is your Friday night. You can eat what you want to eat. Okay. And so Regina ate tacos and cheese dip. Okay. That sounds good. Did you make them? <laughs> Valerie had shrimp and grits. Valerie who? There's a lot of Valerie's. And a lot of Regina's. <laughs> so, let's see. Valerie McCrew. Oh, she, we grew up in the same neighborhood. Hey, Valerie. I bet that was good. I did one of those on the show. So, hey. And Tim, don't you worry about that, Sonny. That's okay. If that's what you wanted, that's what you had, that's all. It's all good. Because, <laughs> hey, sometimes on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we may have a bowl of cereal. I'm telling you, and satisfied with that. Yes. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to get to check my cornbread. What, how long, guys? Looking good. And usually I take a, I take a um, toothpick and just kind of stick it in the middle. It's not quite ready. I could, what I could do is just post it later on. But I wanted y'all to see that amazing flip that I have. <laughs> I have an amazing flip from the skillet. But um, in the meanwhile, what we'll do. We're going to go in and plate some of this goodness up. So I'll take a kebab, like so. And look, ooh, yes. Look at this cabbage, guys. Y'all can do this. Full of a sweet, delicious Italian sausage mixed with ground beef, okay? And then you want to put a little of that sauce on there, girl. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir! Yes, sir! And this amazing corn casserole. Let's stir it up a bit. So we're going to mix all of this cream cheese. And guys, again, make this your own. Make this your own. You can put onions if you like, bell peppers. And I do, I have a few red peppers and green peppers I forgot to tell you. Um, you can put that in there with the butter and the cream cheese, okay? So it just makes it even more, that much more flavorful, okay? Carl Nelson said, hey, need a cake. Yeah. How you gonna get, okay, is this Papa Nelson or Brother Nelson? Which one? Because I cannot ship a cake to Atlanta. You know that. But when you're in town, we got you. <laughs> now, guys, look at this. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna show you something. Let me get a knife. Woo! Yes, 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 yes. 
We want to show y'all what this is all about. Let me move this. Just gonna sit it to the back here, out of the way, okay? We'll keep this here, okay? Now, well, let's see. Move it up a little bit. Let me get a knife. Now this, can they see it from here? Can they see it from here? Okay. Okay, we just wanna cut into this bad boy. Look at this. Ooh, look at that sausage. So we have the sausage, the cabbage, and then we have all those delicious ingredients that we put in there, guys. Look at this. You see that? Can you see that? Sausage, beef, onions. We have parsley. We have, uh, what else? Salt and pepper. Oh, uh, what else did I put in there? And rice. Don't forget, the, don't forget the rice. Now, I cook my rice halfway, and a lot of people do not cook the rice, okay? Now, here, we're going to taste it. I'm sure it's a little hot. I gotta turn around, y'all, one time. Two times. Three times. <laughs> Eyesight! Delicious! I tell you, I got a little dizzy. And then the corn. Cream cheese. Butter. Whole corn of corn. Now you can shuck this off of a corn on the cob. You can do the canned corn and the Mexican style that already has the bell peppers and um, the uh, red and green peppers in it. Cream cheese, butter, cayenne pepper. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna hurt myself in a minute. Mm, 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 mm. And then the kebab. You just slide the, that off the kebab like so. I love a mushroom, zucchini and squash. Love it, love it. I eat this raw, really. Now, the mushroom. And I season it simple, guys. Olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic. Yes. Delicious, guys. I promise you, you want to try this. Tonight's menu. Spicy cabbage rolls. Easy breezy corn casserole. Homemade buttermilk cornbread, grilled zucchini, squash, tomatoes, mushrooms, and then of course to top it off, we have an amazing angel, angel food cake with an icing that will knock your socks off. It had, and these are the few ingredients, vanilla instant pudding mix, one tube of Cool Whip, one can of crushed pineapples. You mix all that goodness up. Let it sit in the refrigerator for about five or 10 minutes. Take it out, your cake is cool. I slit the cake in half, and on the first bottom, I put that goodness all over that. Top it back and put the rest on, and then I just cover it. Now you can use fresh pineapples to garnish it, or you can use the strawberries like I like. I love mixing a strawberry and a, a pineapple together. We're checking on this cornbread, guys. And so, again, guys, I thank you so very much for tuning in with Cooking with Coco. This has been a dream come true for me. Let me tell you something, guys. I just love to cook. I love serving people. I love to see people happy eating. And so that was the reason I started the show, not only because I love to cook, but I'm really trying to inspire others to get back in the kitchen. Easy, breezy meals. And guys, most of the time, my meals are ready in 30 minutes, right? So we're gonna look at this cornbread. This is the cornbread, guys. I just flipped it. I can't. Okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the flip. Okay, you take it, and you flip, and you flip. Like so. You see how pretty? You see how golden brown that is? Let me tell you something. You get you some butter. 
you get some butter or you get a little honey and i tell you you can go to town let me show you i just want to show y'all you see how easy now listen we got a full course meal we have stuffed cabbage we have shabazz full of delicious vegetables we have a cream corn casserole and we have a homemade buttermilk Now look, I'm gonna take that out and put add it to the plate, but I gotta show you something. Not yet, y'all, not yet. Let me show you. And you take you some melted butter, honey, and you do this to it. Huh, like my um, butter just said, butter me up. Y'all watch. You take it and you just, ooh, all between. Come on now. Y'all, if I tell you this is the best cornbread, it's buttery. It's moist. It has that little crust on the back side. This is dinner for us Friday night. Guys, I want to ask you to please, if you have not subscribed to Cooking with Coco, please do so. You won't be sorry. If you have not ordered your first edition Cooking with Coco, you can go to my website, www.sandraakins.com, or you can go straight to Amazon and it will connect you as well. Again, guys, I pray that you have a wonderful, fantastic weekend. Be safe. Continue to be cautious of your surroundings. We are going to get through this, I promise. Because first of all, guys, we trust God. And he has not failed us yet. And so until we meet again, I will see you all next Friday. Please try this easy breezy meal. Until next time, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.